seid. Let us begin with a prayer. Lasst uns mit Gebet anfangen. Dear Father in heaven, Lieber Vater im Himmel, we thank you Lord that we can again open your word. Wir danken dir Herr, dass wir ein weiteres Mal dein Wort auftun können. We thank you Father for giving us the daily bread. Und wir danken dir Vater, dass du uns das tägliche Brot gibst. That you're always faithful. Dass du immer treu bist. And that you help us in our weak and frail condition. Und dass du uns hilfst in unsere ähm, schwache und erbärmlichen Zustand. And uh, that you are looking with pity upon us. From your throne. Und dass du äh, mit Erbarmen äh, von deinem Thron her auf uns blickst. And that your heart is, uh, full of warmth and affection towards us. Und dass dein Herz voller Wärme und Zuneigung äh, uns entgegen ist. And that you want to help us to come up higher and to come up closer to you. Und dass du uns helfen möchtest, dass wir höher und näher an dir kommen. And therefore you give us again and again more light and understanding from your word. Deswegen gibst du uns wieder und wieder mehr Licht und Verständnis aus deinem Wort her. Because we cannot change ourselves. Denn wir können uns selbst nicht verändern. Therefore, Lord, we ask you now to have again great mercy upon us. So, deswegen bitten wir, lieber Herr, dass du wieder großes Erbarmen mit uns hast. That you help us to understand your word. Dass du uns helfen mögest, dein Wort zu verstehen. To help us to understand creation correctly. Dass du uns hilfst, die Schöpfung auf richtige Weise zu verstehen. And that we can then understand how you will recreate us in your image. So dass wir dann verstehen werden, wie du uns in deinem Ebenbild von äh, neu erschaffen möchtest. And that we can uh, live in your presence for eternity. So dass wir auf ewig in deiner Gegenwart le leben mögen. And we thank you therefore that uh, the Sabbath is a reminder for this great promise. Und wir danken dir, dass der Sabbat eine Erinnerung an diese große Verheißung uh, ist. And help us now to uh, discard all the worldly thoughts. Und hilft uns jetzt alle weltlichen Gedanken uh, bei wegzutun. And that we would you know, start entering mentally and uh, spiritually into your sacred hours. Und dass wir jetzt uh, sowohl geistig und auch geistlich in deine heiligen Stunden hineinkommen. And we ask for in Jesus name. Und wir bitten und beten in Jesu Namen. Yeah. Amen. No. Okay. So, <coughs> post some notes. So, ich poste jetzt Notizen in den Livestream-Gruppe. I hope that I can translate them also, <coughs> because there was some problem. But David, can you try to put them into a deeper? Okay. okay, so the German notes will shortly come. Also die deutschen Notes und Notizen, die folgen gleich. Okay, so this evening we want to also look at Genesis chapter 1. So, auch heute Abend möchten wir um, Erste Buch Mose Kapitel 1 anschauen. And Brother Mark you already shared some thoughts uh, from a different angle on this uh, chapter. Und Bruder Mark hat heute Morgen also von diesem Kapitel einen anderen Blickwinkel angeschaut. And uh, I just want to add some more thoughts to it, but I want to highlight different aspects of it. Und ich möchte nur weitere Gedanken da hinzufügen, aber ich möchte auf um, anderen Aspekten eingehen. I mean, here we already have this illustration of the, the earth, the first heaven, second heaven and third heaven. Right? So, hier haben wir bereits diese Darstellung von der Erde, die erste Himmel, zweite Himmel und der dritte Himmel. I mean, the third heaven is not mentioned here, but it's where the throne of God is. Also, right? der dritte Himmel ist hier nicht, aber es ist da, wo der Thron Gottes ist. So, let's just remind ourselves, let's go to in our Bibles to uh, second Corinthians chapter well, zur Erinnerung gehen wir in unseren Bibeln zu 2. Korintherbrief, Kapitel 12. Let's begin in verse 1. We're going to read down to verse 4. Und wir lesen die Versen 1 bis 4. It says, It is not expedient for me doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. So here we have the third heaven. So here is the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the 
body or out of the body, I cannot tell, God knoweth, how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. So we see here the third heaven is paradise, right? It's where God is. So we can say the dritte Himmel is das Paradies, da wo Gott ist. And obviously we understand by implication, if there's a third heaven, there must be also a first and a second heaven. How do you say implication? Um, by... Anwendung? No. no. So by... Ableitung. No. Ableitung. Ableitung. Also durch Ableitung. Uh, wenn es einen dritten Himmel gibt, dann folglich gibt es auch ein zweiter oder erstes. Oder Implikation. Implikation. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go now to our notes. So, lass uns jetzt zu den Notizen gehen. And it says here in Genesis 1, verse 1. Und in 1. Buch Mose 1, Vers 1, es sagt. It says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay. So, and I want to suggest. Ich möchte denn vorschlagen. Yeah, that what the Lord created at the beginning was the first heaven and the face of the earth. Okay? So, was ich vorschlagen möchte, ist, dass am Anfang das, was Gott geschaffen hat, war der erste Himmel und der, die Erde. Okay. So, die Erdfläche. Because we understand yeah, the, the earth, as it is written in verse 2, is, was dark and void. Yes? So, wie wir stehen in Vers 2, die Erde war leer und uh, ohne Form. And Satan and his angels were there for, I don't know, for some time. Und Satan und seine Engel war da eine gewisse Zeit. Okay, and then the Lord, he then started creating the, the face of this earth, right? Und dann fing der Herr, also die Oberfläche dieser Erde zu schöpfen oder zu formen. Yes, and at the same time, uh, he created this first heaven. Und okay. zur selben Zeit hatte dieser erste Himmel Geschaffen. Yeah, he created the atmosphere. Okay. Also die Atmosphäre hat er geschaffen. Uh, and the atmosphere, everybody, at least, I don't want to say everybody, but I think most people on this planet understand without the atmosphere, atmosphere there would be no life possible. Right? Und ich glaube, dass fast jeder Mensch weiß, dass um, ohne eine Atmosphäre wäre das Leben hier auf Erde nicht möglich. Okay, and I want to give my reasons why I think he only created here the first heaven and not the second or the third heaven. Okay. Und ich möchte meine Gründe geben, weshalb ich glaube, dass er nur die erste Himmel ähm, hier geschaffen hat und nicht das zweite und dritte. Okay, so let's just uh, continue reading down to verse uh, 9. So, wir lesen weiter bis Vers 9 hinunter. It says in verse 2. Vers 2. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And the God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. So stop here for now. So, bis Vers 8. So we see therefore there, there were waters now under the firmament. So we can see that there was water under the Festung. Gab. And there were waters above. The firmament, Und es gab right? Wasser über die Feste. Yes. Okay. okay. So, in the firmament is heaven. Und die Feste ist Himmel genannt. Okay. So, there were waters under heaven and waters above heaven. Wasser unter Himmel und Wasser über Himmel. Okay. And <coughs> yeah, the reason, one of the reasons I want to suggest is that he only created the first heaven there. Und einer der Gründe, weshalb ich glaube, dass er nur den ersten Himmel hier schuf, ist, dass yeah, there were many unfallen worlds for a long time already before he created the face of the earth. Right? Es gab viele, also nicht gefallenen Welte, die bereits geschaffen worden sind, noch bevor er die Erde schuf. Yes. And they were obviously in space. Okay. Und sie waren natürlich in dem Aal oder im Raum. Yeah. In space is the second heaven, yes? Und das Aal ist... All. All? Weltall. Hm. Wo ist es? 
Aal. Was ist das? Yes. Okay. Das Weltall mhm. ist äh, wo. What did you say where the planets are? Uh, or what did you say? This is space is the second heaven. Ah, okay. Also das All ist wo ist das zweite Himmel? Okay. So obviously, uh, therefore, space was already Infinite. there long time before he started creating the, the Earth. Right. So deswegen das All war da uh, lange Zeit noch bevor er anfing die Erde zu schaffen. And what about the third heaven? Und was ist mit der dritte Himmel? What is in the third heaven? Eternity. God himself. Uh, yeah, God himself, right? His throne. The third heaven is God himself, his throne. Yeah, and God is eternal, so the throne was ever always there, right? God is the ewig, also his throne was immer da. So the third heaven was always there, and then there came a time when he created the second heaven. So the third heaven was always there, and then came a time when the second heaven was created. And then there came a time when he created also the first heaven. And then came a time when he created also the first heaven. And then came a time when he created also the first heaven. Okay. And then came a time when he created also the first heaven. Okay. And then came a time when he created also the first heaven. So just before we read verse 9, let's read this next quote. So noch bevor wir das Buch Mose Vers 1 Vers 9 lesen, lesen wir zuerst diesen ersten Zitat. Uh, it says here, uh, when we enter eternity, this will be the experience she describes here. So wenn wir in die Ewigkeit hineintreten, dies wird unsere Erfahrung sein, wie sie hier es beschreibt. It says, all the treasures of the universe will be open to the study of God's redeemed. Unfettered by mortality, they wing their tireless flight to worlds afar, worlds that thrilled with sorrow at the spectacle of human woe, and rang with songs of gladness at the tidings of a ransomed soul. With unutterable delight, the children of earth enter into the joy of the wisdom of unfallen beings. They share the treasures of knowledge and understanding gained through ages upon ages in contemplation of God's handiwork. With undimmed vision, they gaze upon the glory of creation, suns, stars, and systems, all in their appointed order, circling the throne of deity. Upon all things, from the least to the greatest, the creator's name is written, and in all are the riches of his power displayed. Okay, so in this last bold faced sentence, so in this last Satz, the fat gedrückt war, yeah, what does it say here? Was sagt es hier? Uh, there are suns, es gibt Sonne, stars, Sterne, and systems. Und Systeme. Okay. And they all circle around where? Und sie alle umkreisen was? Christ, the yeah. son of righteousness. Yeah. This, yes, exactly. Okay. So Christus, Son, Sonne der Gerechtigkeit. Yeah, so the throne, the, the third heaven, right? So das, der, der Thron im dritten Himmel. So the throne is the center of the universe. So okay. The, Gottes Thron ist das Zentrum des Universums. In the throne also, uh, who saw the throne? Und wer hat den Thron gesehen? You mean who saw it? Jesaja, Ezekiel. Ja, für uns, ja, Isaiah, Ezekiel, John, right? So, Jesaja, Ezekiel, Johannes. And when Isaiah saw it, Und als Jesaja sah, where was Christ sitting upon? Wo sah, saß Christus? On the throne. Yes, on the throne. Auf dem Thron. Illustrated by which ja. item? Gestellt durch welches Gegenstand? He saw him in the sanctuary, right? Er hat ihn ins Heiligtum gesehen. So which, where's the, what is the throne? So wo ist der Thron im Heiligtum? The, the, the yeah, the Ark of the Covenant. Right? Der Bundeslade. So in the Ark of the Covenant, it says he was sitting there high and lifted up, right? So, auf der Bundeslade sah, sagte, dass er da saß, hoch und erhaben. Yes, and it's where truth and mercy meet and righteousness and... Da wo Wahrheit und Gnade yeah, sich treffen und Gerechtigkeit und Erbarmen sich küssen. Yeah. Which is also therefore the... Was auch gleichzeitig? Cross. The cross. Das right? Kreuz. Okay. So the cross, Sister White, is the center. Yes? So das Kreuz, sagt Ellen White, ist das Zentrum. Yes. And the throne of God is the center of the universe. Das okay. Thron Gottes ist der Zentrum des Universums. And as Brother Mark rightly said, yeah, Christ is the son, S-U-N, of Righteousness, right? So, wie Brüder Mark bereits richtig gesagt hat, der Christus ist der Sohn der Gerechtigkeit oder Sonne der Gerechtigkeit. Yes. So, and everything is circling therefore around the, the sun, S U N. Alles umkreist die Sonne in dem Sinne. But everything is also circ circling around the sun, S O N. Okay. Als alles kreist sich um die, den Sohn. Yes. Okay, so. <coughs> Alright, so we can see here basically therefore these whole 
vast uh, universe with all these suns and stars and systems you know, that were already there probably millions of millions of years before the earth was created okay so wir können diese großen ähm, universum sehen mit all diese sonnen und planeten und systemen die wahrscheinlich millionen von jahren bereits da waren noch bevor die erde geschaffen wurde and they're, they're all circling around the sun yes und sie alle umkreisen die sonne because at the beginning the sun, when he when he uh, you know he says that i will show you that the secret things that have been hidden since the foundation of the earth it's this this solar system that he made was to teach us about him yes so diese geheimnis die er ja, von grundlegung der welt an verborgen gehalten hat diese sonnensystem die wir haben es sollte uns über ihm lehren that's why all the planets circle around the sun because yes. it's an illustration of the whole universe yeah. what it does yes. deswegen all die planeten unseres sonnensystems den die sonne umkreist und das ist eine darstellung von das ganzen universum die ihm umkreist yes. so basically our solar system is like a fractal of yes the whole galaxy, the whole galaxy. So our universe yes. unser sonnensystem ist eine uh, mini fraktal von das ganze universum yes exactly Okay, so, yeah, and it says by beholding, you can become changed, right? It says, in dem, dass du betrachtest, wirst du in dasselbe Ebenbild verändert werden. So, if, if the earth was the center, uh, then man would be the center of attention, right? So, wenn die Erde das Zentrum würde, dann wäre der Mensch das uh, Mittelpunkt des Aufmerksamkeits sein. It, it, the, the point is, right, Christ in the, in the line, right? He always wants to bring the new birth prior to the point, right? Mm. And the point I'm making... Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm not sure what you mean. No, it doesn't matter. Um, you don't need no one, you just see what I'm saying. So, Christus auf der Linie möchte das Neugeburt immer frühzeitig no, bringen. Satan. Oh, Satan. Oh, Satan. That's why I didn't understand. Okay, Satan möchte den, den, den Geburt vor ähm, den äh, bestimmten Zeit des Vaters bringen. And the, the new birth, and I will cover this point, is when you become like Christ. Und der Neugeburt, und das ist ein Punkt, den ich behandeln wird, ist der Punkt, wo du wie Christus wirst. And it says, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Christus sagt, wenn ich erhöht werde, dann werde ich alle Menschen zu mir ziehen. So it says, and it, we, we are these lost sheep, but we are... The earth is also a lost sheep. So, wir sind diese verlorenen Schafen, aber die Erde selbst ist eine verlorene Schaf. Mm. And there will come a time where the earth will be mm. the center of the universe. Und es wird ein Zeit äh, kommen, wo die Erde wohl das Zentrum des Universums sein wird. But it's at the appointed time. Aber es ist zu mm. der bestimmten Zeit. And Satan wants to get people to say that it's the center of the universe before mm. the appointed time. Satan mm. möchte, dass die Leute glauben, dass die Erde das Zentrum des Universums ist noch bevor, yeah, bevor der bestimmte Zeit. Before Christ is actually there. Right? Yes. Before mm. Christus hier ist. Yes. Exactly. Before Amen. Christ recreates you and fills you. Yeah. Yeah. So before Christus yeah. dich neu schaffst und dich mit seinem Geist oder seinem mm. Ebenbild füllst. Yes. Exactly. It's just another form of public evangelism. Yes, right? it's not another weitere art des öffentlichen yeah. Evangeliums im eigenen Kraft. Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. So, yeah, therefore, the second heaven was already there long before the earth was created. So, okay. die zweite Himmel war längst da noch bevor die Erde geschaffen wurde. So, and when we also go back now to Genesis chapter 1 verse 8. Und wenn wir jetzt zurück zu 1. Buch Mose Kapitel 1 und Vers 8 gehen. So it says here, uh, and God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. So this is, now he created heaven, because it says in the beginning he created heaven and earth. So right? jetzt schuf er den Himmel, denn es sagte am Anfang schuf er die Himmel und Erde. So this is the heaven that he created, the first heaven. So okay. dies ist die Himmel, also der erste Himmel. And der then Himmel in verse 9 he says, jetzt Vers 9 sagt er, and God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. So, therefore, which heaven is it referring to? So, to which heaven bezieht es sich hier, Vers 9, the first? Yeah, the, the heaven that was... Uh, under the first heaven. Yeah, the heaven that was mentioned in the verse before, so right? The heaven that was mentioned in the verse before, right? So, under the second heaven, there is not waters yeah. on the earth, right? So, under the second heaven, there is no water on the earth. Yes? 
Amen. But it's under this heaven, where it now says, let the waters be gathered into one place. And let the dry land appear, and it was so. Everybody can see this? Can you hear that? Okay. So, and now, let's go also to Revelation 21, verse 1. So, lasst uns jetzt zu Offenbarung 21, Vers 1 gehen. Because who is God? Denn wer ist Gott? Is the Alpha? Er ist and the Omega. Right? Alpha und Omega. Okay, so, what will he do at the very end with this earth? So, was wird der ganz am Ende mit dieser Erde machen? You make it, I create. Yes, he recreates it, right? Wird es neu schaffen. But will he only recreate the earth? Aber wird er die, nur die Erde alleine neu schaffen? No, he no. Will, he will put the heaven back to how it was. Yes. Okay. Er wird den Himmel wieder zurückstellen, wie es war. So, let's read Revelation 21, verse 1. So, Offenbarung 21, Vers 1. It says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Okay, so... It says here, he creates a new heaven and a new earth, right? Just like he created the heaven and the earth in the beginning. Okay, and why does he need to also recreate heaven? And why, is he, why does he need to recreate the earth? First? Because it's polluted. Yeah, everything that is tainted with sin, he will recreate, right? Alles, was mit die Sünde getüncht ist, wird er neu schaffen. Yes. Okay. So, but what do we understand when the three heavens are parallel to what in the sanctuary? So, was verstehen wir? Diese drei Heaven sind parallel mit was in dem Heiligtum? The courtyard, the holy, and the most holy. Yes. Das Vorhof, das Heilige und das Allerheiligste. Exactly. So. Now this is the court. Here is the Vorhof. This would be the holy place. Here wird der Heilige. And then here the most holy. Then im dritten Himmel das Allerheiligste. Just put the throne here. And here schreibe ich den Thron ganz oben. Okay. So <clears throat> in how can you only come? Into the second apartment. Und wie ist es nur möglich, in der zweite Abteil hineinzukommen? Through the veil. Holy. Yeah, if you're holy, exactly. So, wenn okay. du heilig bist. Yeah, so, and what does it mean to be holy? Und was bedeutet es, heilig zu sein? Let's go to 1 John. Gehen wir zu unserem Leben zu 1. Johannes. Chapter 3. In Vers 9. Und Vers 9. First John 3, verse 9. Erste Johannes 3, Vers 9. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. So, what can you not bring with you into the holy place? So, was kannst du nicht ins Heiligtum mitbringen? Your sinful habits. Yes. Your sinful heart, right? Yes. yes. So, therefore, nothing sinful will defile this place here. Okay. Das wird nichts sündhaftiges werde dieser Ort verunreinigen. In the sense that you cannot commit sin here. Okay. In diesem Sinne, dass du hier nicht Sünde begehen kannst. Yes, because you must pass through the Porters, right? Du musst an den Pförtnern vorbei. Yes, and it says nothing unclean shall enter. Und sag nichts Unreines wird hier hineinkommen. Okay, so, yeah, therefore is the second heaven polluted? So, deswegen ist der zweite Himmel verunreinigt worden? No, right? We are this leper colony, right? So, wir sind diese Lepra Kolony. And the Lord made sure that man cannot pollute the second heaven. Okay. Und der Herr hat versichert, dass die Menschen das zwe der zweite Himmel nicht verunreinigen können. Yeah, so kann. basically he shut us up and he quarantined us here on earth. Okay. So er hat uns abgeschlossen. Wir sind hier auf der Erde in Quarantäne. Yeah, we cannot get in touch with those things in the second heaven. Wir können nicht um, Kontakt haben mit den Sachen im zweiten Himmel. Yes. Therefore, for instance, the moon landing uh, was false. Okay. Deswegen der 
ja, Mondreise sozusagen, ist eine Lüge. Okay. Because the moon is in the second heaven. Weil der Mond befindet sich im zweiten Himmel. Okay. So, yeah, therefore, uh, he, there's no need to recreate the second heaven. So, okay. Deswegen ist es nicht nötig, den zweiten Himmel uh, neu zu schaffen. Yeah. The first heaven, it is necessary. Aber okay. der erste Himmel, wohl. Okay. Because where, what does fly in the second heaven, uh, in the first heaven, sorry? Was fliegt im ersten Himmel? Unclean birds. Yeah, all these unclean birds, right? All these unreine Vogel. Okay. So, good. Now let's go to verse 4. So jetzt, uh, Offenbarung 21, Vers 4. It says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there, they, sorry, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. So how is the Lord now calling the first earth and the first heaven? So wie nennt der Herr der erste Himmel und erste Erde? Former things. Former things, right? Die frühere Sachen. Okay, and what are, is the different expression for the for, former things? Und was sind eine andere um, Ausdrucksweise für die früheren Dinge? Types. The types. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... <coughs> And the types is the Galatians 4 experience, right? Die Typen, das ist der Galater 4 Erfahrung. Which is the courtyard. Was yes. im Vorhof ist. Yes? Amen. Okay. So these things will be taken away. Diese Sachen werden weggenommen. Okay. Verse 5. Verse 5. And he said that, uh, sorry, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Okay, now let's continue. Let's go to Genesis 1, verses 14 to 20. So, fangen wir fort. In 1. Buch Mose 1, die Verse 14 bis 20. It says, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Okay, so here we see again the firmament mentioned, right? Here is verse 17, wieder der Feste is erwähnt. But what does Miller say? Well, what does Miller say? Symbols can more, more than one yes. significance. Symbols can have more than one significance. So we need to then determine uh, which firmament is referred to here. So we okay. must here um, feststellen or bestimmen, which feste is here from the rede. Okay, because we already recognized there are how many heavens? Then we have already recognized how many heavens there are. Three. Right? Three. So therefore, you must now rightly divide. Is it speaking here about the first heaven, or is it speaking here about the second heaven? So, we must now rechte Weile schneiden and fragen, spricht es hier über der erste oder der zweite Himmel? So, is sun, moon and stars in the first heaven? So, sind Sonne, Mond und Sterne im ersten Himmel? No, right? Nein. So, they are in the space, right? So, die sind hier im All. Okay. So, and what I want to now also suggest, and I will give my reason why, Und was ich auch ähm, jetzt vorschlagen möchte, und ich werde meine Gründe deshalb ist Vers 16 is speaking about the creation of our solar system. So, okay. Vers 16 spricht über die Schöpfung von unserem Sonnensystem. Okay, because he made the, the sun, which is the center of the solar system. Die Sonne geschaffen, was das Zentrum des Solarsystems ist. Then he made the moon. Er hat den Mond gemacht. Yeah, we already saw he, he the earth is there, okay. So we have already seen the earth is there. But then he also made the stars. But then he made the stars also. And he put all these things now in the second heaven. And he had all these things in the second heaven. Okay. So, now let's continue. Fangen wir fort. And we'll come to this point shortly about the solar system. So the solar system when we gleich come. But let's just continue. Listen to verse 18. Verse 18. And to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl 
that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. So here, you can see he again speaks about the first heaven, right? So here in verse 20, he speaks again about the first heaven. Because this is where the birds are flying. And this is there where the birds fly. Yes. Amen. Okay. Now let's look at the pioneer understanding. So let's look at the pioneer understanding. So that's a quote by Jane Andrews. It's a quote from J. N. Andrews. And he says, the next thing in order in the work of creation was the act of giving existence to our atmosphere. So what is he saying? Was sagt er? Ersten Satz. And God created our God hat atmosphere. Right? Atmosphere geschaffen. Okay. <coughs> And then he says, Dann sagt er weiter, the firmament or heaven which divides the waters from the waters is the air. Because the atmosphere is basically the air. Okay. So atmosphere is is the luft eben. Okay, it goes on to say. Sag weiter. It is this in which the fowls fly above the earth. Genesis 1:20. Okay, so this is clearly also what our pioneers understand. So this is also what our pioneers understand. And then the waters above the firmament are the clouds. Also the water. Oh, sorry. Go on. Yes. So therefore, we can see. Yeah, they also understood that when the waters were divided from the waters of the earth. These waters above are the clouds. Hier können wir auch sehen, dass wenn die Wasser getrennt würde, dass die Wasser über die Feste war die Wolke. Okay. And then it says, the waters under the firmament are those upon our earth. At the time our atmosphere was created, the whole face of the earth was water. For it was not till the next day that the dry land appeared. The atmosphere being denser than the mists and forks and vapors that from the clouds form. Uh, that form the clouds they are born aloft by it god called this firmament or atmosphere heaven it is the first or atmospheric heaven that was thus created okay so here clearly our pioneers also say that in verses 6 to 8 when he divided the waters and put the firmament in between it's the first or atmospheric heaven so hier die Verse 6 bis 8, die Pioniere sind in Übereinstimmung, dass wenn er die Wasser trennte, dazwischen ist die erste Himmel oder Feste. Yes. First or atmospheric heaven. That's what say. Atmosphärische Himmel. Okay. And he says, the waters above are the clouds. Und er sagt, die Wasser darüber sind die Wolken. Okay. Now let's go to this point that we can look at that when the Lord created sun, moon and stars, that this is actually referring to our solar system. So, lass uns diesen Punkt anschauen, dass wenn der Herr sagte, er schuf Sonne, Mond und Sterne, dass dies auf unsere Solarsystem bezieht. Yeah, because we already looked at the different suns and stars and systems from all these unfallen worlds that were already circling the throne of deity for ages past, right? So, wir haben bereits angeschaut, all diese Sonnen und Sternen und Systemen, die seit eh und je den Thron Gottes uh, umkreisen. Yeah. But now he just created a new system in this broad universe. Okay. Aber jetzt hat er ein neues System innerhalb diesen großen Ganzen geschaffen. Okay. And maybe we need to also understand one thing. Und okay. eines müssen wir vielleicht verstehen. Because the Bible says, I just note it down here, okay, he created the sun, Weil die Bibel sagt, er schuf die Sonne, the moon, also the Mond, and the stars, right? Und die Sterne. Okay, I just now remain with sun and stars for now. So, okay, for the moment, we mark here no Sonne and Sterne. Okay, because for a worldly minded person, they can now. It, this can be confusing. Okay. Denn für eine weltliche gesinnte Mensch dies konnte verwirrend werden. Because uh, the definition of a star would be actually that the sun is a star. Also, weil die weltliche Auslegung eines Sterns ist, dass eine Sonne ein Stern ist. And this would be the planets, right? Und die Sterne werden den Planeten. If you would refer this to our solar system. Wenn wir yes. das auf unserem Solarsystem unser Sonnensystem anwenden. Yes. Just, let's just look at this. Yeah, how in the worldly term the star is defined. So, lass uns das anschauen, wie in einer weltlichen Weise wie ein Stern definiert wird. Okay. So, 
So the first definition comes from this lexicon here, Britannica. So this comes here from the Encyclopedia Britannica. And it says, a star is an sorry, a star is any massive self-luminous celestial body of gas that shines by radiation derived from its internal energy sources. So therefore a star has its own light, right? Deswegen ein Stern gibt seinen eigenen Licht her. Okay. And therefore in the next definition that's taken from Wikipedia. Und dieser nächste Ausdruck, uh, Definition, die ist von Wikipedia, no? Says the sun is the star at the center of the solar system. Okay. So therefore the world would call the sun a star. So okay. deswegen die Welt werde die Sonne ein Stern nennen. Because it has its own light source. Weil es seine eigene Lichtquelle hat. Okay. But how does Ellen White use this term? Aber wie macht Ellen White Gebrauch von diesen Ausdruck? So let's go to this next quote. Zum nächsten Zitat. It says, as the moon and the stars of the solar system shine by the reflected light of the sun. So, as far as the teaching is true, do the world's great thinkers reflect the rays of the sun of righteousness. So, who is reflecting here the light of whom? So, wer widerspiegelt den Licht von wem? In the solar system. In the solar system. Light of the sun. Yeah. Stars. The, the stars and the moon, right? So, Sterne und Mond spiegeln den Licht der Sonne wieder. Yeah, but we know in our solar system, according to worldly definition, we only have one sun, right? Aber in unserem Solarsystem, nach dem weltlichen Aus äh, Verständnis, haben wir nur eine Sonne. And therefore, according to worldly understanding, we only have one star in the solar system. Und deswegen, nach dem weltlichen Verständnis, haben wir nur einen Stern in unserem Solarsystem. Yeah. And all the planets are there that reflect now the light of the sun as well as the moon. Und alle Planeten sind da, die sowohl ähm, die, die so Licht der Sonne widerspiegeln, wie auch der Mond. Okay. So, uh, therefore, but, yeah, but the worldly definition says the stars are the ones that have light in themselves. Okay. Aber die weltliche Verständnis sagt, dass Sterne sind diejenigen, die Licht uh, in sich oder von sich selbst haben. But says White says the stars of the solar system reflect the light of the sun. Aber Alan White sagt, die Sterne des Solarsystems widerspiegeln das Licht von der Sonne her. Therefore, what is the conclusion? What are the stars here? So, deswegen, was ist der Schlussfolgerung hier? Was sind die Sterne? Planets. Oh, the planets, right? Das sind die Planeten. Okay. So, uh, the planets and the moon, they reflect the light of the sun. So, okay. die Planeten und der Mond spiegeln das Licht vom Sonne wieder her. Okay. Because that's the only things that is in the solar system. Ja, das ist das Einzige, was in dem Solarsystem ähm, äh, klar macht. The only thing that is in the solar system is. Ah, so that is the only thing that is in the solar system is in Sonne, Mond, and uh, planet. Yes, I, I've got a quote. Just mm -hmm. I, I'm not making an argument. I just I also want to understand this better. Also, I make here no argument, but I have a citat, and die möchte ich auch verstehen. Mm -hmm. I just read this quote that I posted. Ich habe das in den Livestream gepostet. Das ist ein Zitat, und ich lese das jetzt auch. It's from the Leben Jesu. It's from Leben Jesu. It says, the wise men had seen a mysterious light in the heavens upon that night when the glory of God flooded the hills of Bethlehem. As the light faded, a luminous star appeared and lingered in the sky. It was not a fixed star, nor a planet. Mm. So it seems, at least in this quote here, she differentiates between a star, star and a planet. And a planet. Mm. Okay, and uh, maybe there's another one. Also sie scheint hier in diesem Zitat einen Unterschied zwischen einem no. Stern und einem Planeten. No, she says a fixed star. Y yes. In a fi the, the sun would be a fixed star in the sense that... No, no, I, I agree, I agree. Also, also I'm not arguing, I'm just, ein, I'm just saying... Ein, um, also ein festgeordneter Stern und das in diesem Sinne wäre denn die Sonne. Fix, oh. fix Stern, sagt man. Sag mal auch fix? Fix, fix. Fix. Fix ein Fixstern. Das wäre okay. dann in diesem Sinne die Sonne. It's interesting. Sonne. I'll just post another one. This is, 
This is CET111, but it says it's, it's from letters and manuscript, and it's slightly different. And this next citat, this is auch gleich from CET111, but this here is from the uh, Briefen and Manuscripten, and this is etwas anders geschrieben. Right, it says, <coughs> I saw that the powers of heaven are the sun, moon, and stars. They rule in the heavens. I saw that the powers of earth are those that bear rule on earth. I saw the powers of heaven will be shaken at the voice of God. Then the sun, moon, and stars will be moved out of their places. They will not fall nor pass away, but be shaken by the voice of God. Um, dark heavy clouds came up and clashed against each other. The atmosphere parted and rolled back. Then we could see the open space and Orion from whence came the voice of God. I saw that the holy city will come down through that open space. I saw that the powers of earth are now being shaken. The Lord showed me that things came in order. Wars and rumors of war, sword, famine, and pestilence are to first be shake the powers of the earth. Then the voice will shake the heavens and the earth, the sun, moon, and stars, and this planet also. Okay, so <coughs> just she, she says sun, moon, and stars, and this planet also. So I want, sun, moon, and stars, and this planet also. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yes, but I mean, I know that uh, she also has quotes where she speaks about the planets, right? Es gibt auch Zitaten, wo sie über die Planeten spricht. And um, I mean, I don't know. So I understand. For instance, uh, you you can see you can see the planets in the sky. Zum yeah. Beispiel, du kannst die Planeten im Himmel sehen. At least, I don't know if you can see no, you can't see the very one. far ones. You know. Also, du kannst nicht die im ganzen Ferne sehen. I know that you can see Mercury, you can see Venus, and Jupiter. You can see Jupiter, you can see Mars even also. And I don't know if you can see Saturn and Uranus, but... I think so. Also, du kannst einige von den Planeten sehen. Zu bestimmten Zeiten, aber nicht alle. Yes. But um, maybe you can see all. I don't know. Vielleicht kannst du alle sehen. Das mm. weiß ich nicht. But the uh, point is, you cannot differentiate between a star and a planet just by sight. Okay? Aber von einfach Augenlicht hier, du kannst keinen Unterschied zwischen einem Stern und einem Planet machen. And they will look like a, a star. Okay. Sie werden so aussehen wie ein Stern. Okay. So. I'm open. Yeah. Maybe there's, there's really yes, something I'm just that. Just looking to see if I can harmonize this. I've been often, of in fact. Maybe there's some something that we need to understand that there's a difference between a star and a planet. Is there something that we need to understand that there's a difference between a star and a planet? As it, as I mean, it maybe. As of for life. I mean, I was always struggled when it says that the stars reflect the sun, the light of the sun. It's like our sun is, I don't know how many trillion light years away from some of these. Stars, it's like, how can they reflect that sun? They're in a different solar yeah, system. Yeah, exactly. So this yeah. makes more sense for me. It's like yeah. the stars here that are reflecting yeah. the sun. Yes, yes. Yeah, because yeah. it says in the solar system, yes. there, there, we read about, right? So it yes. says in the solar system, the sun, uh, the, the stars and the moon reflect the light of the sun. So in the okay. solar system, the Sternen and the uh, moon spiegel the light of the sun. So therefore, in our solar system, we only have these planets, right? In unserem Solarsystem, wir haben nur diesen Planeten. These planets, I mean... Diesen these. Planeten. Yeah. Diese. Diese. Ja, yeah. diese Planeten. Diesen, ist nicht plural? No, oh. it would be referring to the Earth, if you would say diesen ah, okay. Planeten. Okay, okay, I didn't yeah. know that. Well, okay, diese Planeten. Yes. Sorry. So, <coughs> and um, yeah, therefore I'm inclined to, to suggest uh, that we still need to substantiate it that the Earth she calls now planet, but the other planets she refers to stars, okay, because they appear as stars to us. Okay. Geneigt dazu zu denken, dass sie nennt die die Erde Planet und die anderen Planeten in dem Sinne Sterne, weil die können wir sehen. Wie Sterne. Yeah, because they are like like stars. Okay. Sehen so wie Sterne aus. Okay, so let's just go back to this quote we read from the Desire of Ages. Let's so read it once more. Gehen wir zurück zu diesem Zitat von Leben Jesu. Das ist in den Notizen wieder. Because um, it says here, as the moon 
and the stars of the solar system shine by the reflected light of the sun. So, as far as their teaching is true, do the world's great thinkers reflect the rays of the sun of righteousness. So, yeah, therefore, she clearly refers, she qualifies it, she refers to our solar system. Right? So, she qualifies that she bezieht das auf unserem Sonnensystem. Okay, and therefore, there, these are the stars in our solar system. So, das sind die Sterne, die innerhalb unseren Sonnensystems sind. And they reflect the light of the sun. Und sie spiegeln das Licht der Sonne wieder. So, yeah, this would be the planet. Das right? würde denn die Planeten sein. <coughs> exactly. Okay. So the Bible just uses a different expression you know, to describe our planets that the Lord created at the beginning. Die Bibel benutzt nur eine andere Ausdrucksweise, um unseren Planeten, die der Herr am Anfang geschaffen hat, zu bezeichnen. Because the Lord focused on the Earth, yeah, and then He said basically, that He made the Sun, the Moon, and the stars of the solar system. Okay, besides the Earth. Auf die Erde fokussiert und dann. Ähm, Außer der Erde hat er gesagt, er schuf die Sonne, Mond und Stern. Das bezieht sich auf unser Sonnensystem. Okay. So, and when we go to the next quote, wenn wir zum nächsten Zitat gehen, it says here, the same creative energy that brought the world into existence is still exerted in upholding the universe and continuing the operations of nature. The hand of God guides the planets in the orderly march through the heavens. It is not because of inherent, inherent power that year by year the earth continues her motion around the sun and produces her bounties. Yeah, so here we can see also, now she speaks about planets here in this quote. Okay. Here about planet, but she says the planets have the orderly march through the heavens. She says the planets have their geordnete Marschierung oder Bahn in den Himmel. And then she also mentions the Earth in line with it, how it's continuously marching around the Sun. Und dann spricht sie auch über die Erde, wie das beständig ihren Bahn um die Sonne schlägt. Okay. So. Okay. And then in the next quote, she again refers to the stars. That have their order in the heavens. Und dann im nächsten Zitat bezieht sie auf die Sterne, die ihre Ordnung in den Himmeln haben. Das ist das Also das Fettgedrückte. I am willing to be taught of him that set the stars in the orders in the heavens and appointed the sun and the moon to do their work. Okay, so therefore, at least this was my conclusion that she just sometimes uses the word planets. And sometimes she just uses the word stars. Okay. Das war meine Schlussfolgerung, dass sie manchmal die Wo das Wort Planeten benutzt und manchmal Sterne. Okay. And when the Bible says he created uh, sun, moon and stars, it just refers to our solar system, because this affected the earth. Right? Und wenn die Bibel sagt, dass er Sonne, Mond und Sterne schuf, das bezieht sich auf unserem Sonnensystem, weil all das hat einen Einfluss auf die Erde. Okay. Good. I think um, we can maybe stop here for now <coughs> because when we continue, this would be a new thought now. So we can here Schluss machen, then when we jetzt weiter die Notizen machen, das wäre eine neue Gedanke. And we just will do it then tomorrow evening. Und wir werden das dann morgen Abend fortsetzen. And I hope that the second half of these notes will give some further. Understanding also about the shaking of the heavens. Okay. Ich hoffe, dass diese zweiten Teil die Notizen ein tieferes Verständnis über die Erschütterung der Himmel gibt. Okay. Everybody could follow so far. So konnte jeder mitfolgen. Okay. So therefore we can see basically when it says in the beginning he created heaven and earth, that was referring to the first heaven. Okay. Deswegen können wir sehen, dass wenn am Anfang im Himmel und Erde schuf, das bezieht sich auf den ersten Himmel. And this is also what he needs to recreate because this is what is polluted by sin. Und das ist auch was er neu schaffen muss, denn das ist was von Satan verunreinigt wird. Okay, and also our pioneers are in agreement with this understanding how we we have it. Und unsere Pioniere sind auch in Übereinstimmung mit das Verständnis, wie wir es haben. And yes, and um, what was this other point? Um, and then Uh, yes. Yes.
heavens, exactly. And uh, in the third and the second heaven, we know they were already there, created beforehand. Uh, he didn't have to create it anew when he created the earth. Und der dritte und zweite Himmel, wir wissen, waren bereits da, also er musste sie äh, nicht schöpfen, als er die Erde schuf. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, very clear evidences and with these things we can go forward. So, sehr klare Beweise, aber mit diesen Sachen können wir reden. Amen. Amen. Okay, then let's close with our prayer. Lass uns mit unserer Gebetsrunde schlossen.